doing it today. You tried doing it, so you did it. I did finish it. Okay, so let's go back to the assignment. When, where was the assignment before we move on to the class? Collins, I can't hear you well. So I think the assignment is on page 25. Yeah, page 25. All right, uh, let, let's begin from Sophia. Translate the sentences. I gave you number one, so give me from number two to where you stop. Read the sentence and read your translation. I didn't do number two. You didn't do number what? Two. So which one did you do? Okay, I did number two. Number two says, um, the messenger, it has to do with something with messenger. Read in the Greek and tell me okay. what you translated. Oh, oh, do, do, uh, so I can't read this. You should be able to read. Go on, try it. Oh, do, do, uh, what is lambda? L. So, so how will you pronounce it? Log. Okay, because it's followed by O. So now pronounce that word. O do log. O do los. Do los. Go on. Next word. The first letter there is a phi. Yes, phi epsilon, roi epsilon. Phi epsilon, rho, rho. rho. So what will you need? How do you pronounce phi? Is that what you'll be doing in the exam? Okay. Murphy, pick up. Don't let her. Huh? Go ahead, start, uh, pick number two up. Don't let Sophia waste our time. Oh, oh, okay, sir. N number two is O Dulos Ferai Doron. O Dulos Ferai Ferai Doron. Good. Doron, yes, sir. So, Sophia, what is the translation? Um, he is a messenger. That's not messenger. Dulos is not messenger. Okay, Murphy, give us the translation. Um, the, the slave or servant bears or brings a gift good the slave or the or servant, servant brings a gift good yes sir number three o angelos legai logon good sophia can you translate that um the angels the angels delivered the message Ooh. Clap for yourself for doing. Sir, I don't get. Delivers. Where did you see the word deliver? What is leg? What is uh, lego? Uh, legai. Legai. Collins, please tell her. Um, so the legai means says or speaks. Good. So give us the sentence. The, That's the old sentence. Okay, sir. The angel says or speaks a word. Simple. The angel says a word, or the angel speaks a word, or the messenger says a word, or the messenger speaks a word. Good. Number four. Ekai ton carpon. All right. He or she or it has the fruit, singular. The fruit, good. Number six. 
Oi, Adele Foy, Akusi Tus, Logus to Angelu. All right, and what's that? The brothers hear the words, plural, of the angel. The brother hears the words of the angel. Good. Number six. Pem pete dora to yepo. Yero. 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 Yeah. Yero. So what? Pem. Pem pete. Pem pete dora to yero. To yero. Okay. Translate to English. You send the gifts to the temple. Plural. That is no D. Yeah. You send gifts the to gift, the yes, temple. Sir. You send gifts to the temple. All right. Send yes, sir. I'm not going to ask us to waste more time on that. Let's move on to today's work. Sophia, you, sir. you yeah. need to wake up you need to wake up. We are still in module one, and I'm not going to slow down anymore because we have almost two more modules to go. Olumide, you are welcome. Thank Olumide. you, sir. Good evening, sir. How are you? Now we are going to page 27, and we are going on vocabulary study. Okay, sir. So all of you should read after me. Agape. 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 Love. Love. Amartya. 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 Sin. Glossa. 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 Tongue. Tongue. Daidaki. Didaki. 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 Teaching. Didaki. Teaching. Didaki. Teaching. Yes. Irene. Didaki. Irene. Teaching. Irene. 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 Ne. Irene. 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 Peace. 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 Entoli. Entolin. Not lean. Entoli. Entoli. Le. L E. Entole. Yeah. Entoli. Entoli. Entole. Commandment. Commandment. Mathetes. Mathetes. Mathemes. No, Mathetes. Mathetes. No, Mathetes. Mathetes. M-A-T-H-E-T-E-S. Mathetes. 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 Yeah, the first sign is T A, the second sign is T H, the last one is T. Yes, sir. That's disciple. Disciple. Yeah. Parabole. Pa parabole. 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 That's parable. So that's one parable. of the Greek word that is transliterated directly into English. Alessai. Yes, Alethiah. Alethiah. That is yeah. good. Basilia. Basilia. Kingdom. 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 Graphe. Graphe. Writing or scripture. Writing. Remember, it comes from grapho. I write. Yes, sir. Dogza. Dogza. Glory. 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 Now, doxa is your root word for the English doxology. 
Wow. Hmm. Ecclesia. 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 Church. Church. Ecclesia oh. is the root word for ecclesiology. If you have studied theology before. Wow. Himera. 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 Day. Himera. Day. Day. Messias. Messias. Messiah. Messiah. That is another word of English that is directly transliterated from Greek. Wow. Prophetess. Prophetess. Prophet. Prophet. Prophet, the root word wow. is direct transliteration of the Greek prophetess. Wow. Now, what we notice about this word is the last letter is either an eta or alpha. Did you notice that? Agape, yes, eta, amartia, glossa, didache, irene, and all these letters are signs of the nouns of the first declension. You know, was it on Wednesday? Oh, sorry, Tuesday, we did the nouns of the second declension. Now, these are the nouns of the first declension. Now, majority of the nouns of the first declension are feminine nouns. They are what? Feminine nouns. Sophia, are you following us? Yeah. They are feminine nouns. But there are some few nouns that are actually masculine nouns, but they find their way into the first declension. Wow. Such words are matites, messias, and prophetes. So you see, instead of hey, ending them, we have omicron, ho, ho, ending them. Yes, sir. The symbol of their definite articles all right now let us look at how you will decline a noun that ends with alpha the example we are using here is basilia in the nominative it is written along with the definite article hey basilia Tes basilias, then te basilia for the dative, locative, and instrumental, ten basilian, and in the vocative, it will be the same thing as nominative. In the plural, it becomes I basilai I. In the plural, genitive, and ablative, you have Tone basilai own. In the dative, locative, and instrumental, you have thais basilais. And in the accusative, you have tas basilias. Now, note very carefully your root word is the alpha that uh, after the ending, the word alpha. The ending is as, a, an. Do you note that? So all you need to study are the endings. So by the time you move, put in your step, it will be easy for you to put on the endings. Now, this is the system that we use by every word that ends in epsilon, iota, or rho. When the stem ends in epsilon, iota, or rho, the nominative singular will be a long alpha. Let's go to the second class. When the stem ends in sigma, double lambda, or any of the double consonants, the nominative singular will end in a short alpha, which will now change to eta in the genitive, ablative, dative, locative, and instrumental. So we look at the example glossa. 
Teglosa, tes glosses, teglose, ten glosan. Did you see the changes and where the changes are? All you need to do is just remove the stem and look at the endings case by case. In the plural, we have eyeglassi, tone glosone, thais glassais, and then tas glassas. So you have to study all those paragraphs very well. Sophia. Sir. Remember I told you, get your alphabet so that you can follow us. Now the next word we use as an example there is graphe. Graphe ends in eta. So you have graphe, graphes, graphe, graphe. Graphi, graphone, graphis, graphas. The same thing goes on with messiahs. Even though messiah is a masculine word, it however followed the feminine declension. It goes on with the word ending in R, alpha, messiahs. But when it comes to the declension, in the genitive and ablative, it went back to the masculine and used U. But in the dative, locative, and instrumental, it came back to the feminine and used A. So take note of Messias. The same thing with prophetess. Prophetess, prophet two, prophetess, and prophetess. So at this point, you will now have all the definite articles of the Greek in by case and by gender. Can you see them? Yes, in sir. Masculine, yes. You have all two to tone. In the feminine singular, you have her, te, tes, ten. In the neuter, you have to, chu, to, to. And then in the plural, you have oi, ton, tois, tus. I, ton, tais, tas. Then ta, ton, tois, ta. So take very good notes. Then you have your self assessment exercise to make sure you understand. Denounced very well. Now, Olimide, Olimide, did you do your assignment? Yes, sir. All right. Please, everybody, keep on doing your assignment because once in a while, those words may go back and you'll find them in the exam. But yes, if sir. you go through them in the assignment, it will be easier for you to get there. Yes, sir. Now we are going into more difficult things. This is the last unit of the first module. So by tomorrow, we'll be zeroing in on our second module. And let me tell you, your exam question is set to cover the three modules. So there is no running away. Are you ready? Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Oh my God. We begin from the vocabularies. And the vocabularies okay. here are all adjectives. They are all words. Adjectives. Agathos. Agathos. Now, you look, if you look in front, you see that there are some letters there. So actually, I have given you this word in all the gender. Agathos is masculine, agathe is feminine, agathon is neuter. Do you get it? Agathos, agathe, agathon. And the meaning is good. Then the next one is agapetos, agapete, agapeton. 
beloved. Then the next mm. one is Alos, Ale, Alo. Alos, Ale. This means other or another. If you see the bracket there, I put same kind because it has a very, very serious implication. We will come across another word. Then the next word is basilicos, basilike, basilicon. Basilicos, basilike, basilike. Remember that we did a noun sometimes ago, basilia, meaning what? Kingdom. Yes, sir. So basilicos, basilike, basilicon is an adjective meaning royal. Remember, yes, sir. it is a king that rules a kingdom. Yes, sir. Okay. The next word is the chaos. The chaos, the kaya, the kayon. Okay. And the meaning is righteous or just. The next word is escatos. Escatos, escate, escaton. And the oh. meaning is last. This is where your English word eschatology comes from. The study wow. of last things. The next word is heteros. Heteros means another. But this time, it is another of a different kind. Mm. It is now. Let me give you a simple ex uh, example here. When Jesus was talking, in the book of John about the Holy Spirit. And he said, I have prayed the Father that he might give you another comforter. Wow. The Greek word Jesus used for another comforter is alon paracleton. Wow. Alon paracleton. Now, it means wow. another of the same kind. So the theological implication is the Holy Spirit is the same thing with Jesus Christ. Wow. He didn't use the word heteros. That can also mean another. Sir, I have a question, sir. What's your question? Does that, does that mean that Jesus and the Holy Spirit are mean are same? That's exactly what Jesus implied when he used the word alone. All right, sir. They are Thank of the same kind. Let me give you an illustration. I used to give this illustration. If I take a blue barrel from you, and it is a big barrel, and I tell you I am giving you a long okay. barrel, it means I will give you blue and I will give you big. Okay. I can't give you big, I'll uh, give you big barrel and give you red and use a lot if I have taken blue from you. Okay. okay. Now the next word is okay. poneros. Poneros, ponera, poneron. Poneros means evil. Mm. Poneros, poneros, poneros. Now the next word is kainos. Kainos, kaine, kainon. Kainos means new. Kainos. The next one is kakos. Kakos, kake, kakon. Kakos means bad. The next yeah. word is kalos. Kalos, kale, kalon. And Carlos means good or beautiful. The next word is Micros. Micros, Micra, Micron. That is where your English word small or little has come from. And this is the origin of the English micro. Wow. Hmm. Because actually, micro is a direct transliteration of micros. 
Now the next word is monos. Monos, mone, monon. It means only or alone. And that is where your English word mono has come from. Only. When you talk about monocotyledon, a single, wow. so that's where mono comes from. Now the next word is necros. Necros, necra, necron. Dead. Necros means dead. Necros, necros. The next one is pistos. Pistos, piste, piston. Pistos means faithful. And the next word is protos. Protos. Protos, prote, proton. And protos means prot. Okay. All right. Are we set now to go into the real world? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Now, you know what adjectives are? Yes, sir. Adjectives yes, sir. are words that are used to qualify nouns. Yes, sir. As a result of this, adjectives in Greek will have gender, will have number, and will have case as a noun. Wow. So, as a result, adjectives must agree with the noun they modify in gender, in number, and in case. So, if an adjective, if an adjective is going to qualify a noun in the feminine, then the adjective will be feminine. If that noun is singular, then the adjective will also be singular. If that noun is also nominative, the adjective will also be in the nominative. So now let us take a look at these examples of how we have declined this adjective. So if you look at the declension, you will see the singular and the, uh, sorry, the word feminine there actually should be plural. Then masculine, feminine, neuter below it. So case by case, let's go on with Agathos. So we have Agathos, Agathu, Agatho, Agathon, Agathe. Remember that the same ending with your masculine nouns. Yes, sir. In the feminine, you have Agathe, Agathes, Agathe, Agathe. The same thing with feminine nouns. And in the neuter, you have agathon, agathu, agatho, agathon. And actually, most of the time, neuter and masculine will be similar in all cases except nominative and accusative sometimes. Yes, sir. In the, in the plural, we have agathoi, agathai, agatha, agathon, all true. Agathois, Agathais, Agathos, Agathus, Agathas, Agatha, and um, the next word is Micros, and that's very simple. Micros, Micra, Micron, Micru, Micras, Micru, Micro, Micro, Micra, Micro, Micron, Micran, Micron. We have 10 minutes more, so let me quickly go on to the use of adjectives. Now, adjectives are used in three ways, okay? Yes, sir. Adjectives are used attributively, predicatively, and substantively. Now, let's begin from the attributive views. When adjectives are used attributively, they attribute qualities to the noun they modify. There are two examples of the way this can be done. Ho agathos logos, or ho logos, ho agathos. 
These two constructions mean the same thing, the good word. In other words, the, the, the adjective is giving us the quality of the word and that the word good, the good word. Now, for the construction to be attributive, the, 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 the adjective must carry the definite article. You just look at that example. If you look at the example, agathos, the first example, or agathos, it is the adjective that carry the definite article. Yes, sir. If you look at the second example, both the noun and the definite article carried the definite article. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Good. Now, in the predicative construction, the predicative will make use of the verb to be. Now, look at these two constructions. O logos agathos. And the second one is agathos o logos. The translation is the word is good. The word is good. Now, if you look at this construction, you will see that it is the noun that carried the definite article. Yes, sir. Good. Now, in the substantive construction, the, that the adjective is used as the noun. So you could see something like ho agathos. So because it is masculine, the translation would be the good man. Wow. Or you see, I agatai, because it is feminine, the translation would be the good women. You know, I agatai is feminine plural. Yes, sir. So, in other words, that adjective is used as the subject or as a noun in itself. So, Simply, those are the three ways in which adjectives can be used. Yes, sir. We get before tomorrow, whether you like it or not, you must do your exercises. Sophia, do you hear that? Oh, my God. Sophia, don't tell me that I did some. I didn't do some. Everything has to be done. Now, let me, let, let's just take one or two examples here. Number one, O Agapetos Matetes Akwai Tus Agathus Logus. Now, I know that Agapetos here is an adjective. It is carrying the definite article, so it is used attributively. And the noun that followed it is Matetes. So that means the beloved disciple. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Acquire. He hears. So the beloved disciple hears. What did he hear? Tus agathus logus. Oh. Agathos means what? Agathos. Agathos, an adjective. It means what? Agathos means good. So he has the good words because it is in the plural form. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Let me do number 10 for you. O heteros anthropos, ekai ton nomon kalon doron. That's it. What did we say heteros is? Heteros is your adjective meaning another of a different kind. So anthropos, so it means another man. Ekai, okay. pass. What does he have? Ton 
Nomon. What is nomon? Lo. Nomon. 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 Okay. Cal what is calon? Calon. We just studied all these adjectives now. Okay, maybe that's why it's not sticking. So let's go back. Go back to your vocabulary. Calon is what? Calon is Calon beautiful. Or beautiful. So now let's come back. I think I made an error there. Turn this should be this should be mono beautiful. Yeah, this day turn monon calon duron so that it will be the other man as the only beautiful gift. Did you get it? Yes, turn nomon calon duron. Duron is what? Gift. Calon is beautiful. Monon yes, only. So the only beautiful gift so you and you, you go to battle number two to nine any question we have about two minutes more no sir only me day any question only me day is fluctuating so far any uh, i have a lot of questions but i can't take you backwards Okay, we actually have two minutes more. Okay, so how are we going to do your questions? I don't understand. I'll ask early tomorrow. Okay. We'll start with your huh? questions. Oh, okay, okay. And after we treat your questions, we go on to the assignment. Okay, can we call it a day? Yes. Thank you. Lady okay, tomorrow's class is what time? Tomorrow, let's see fix for six o'clock. Yes. Okay, sir. Yeah. Take care. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Have a nice Amen, day. Amen, sir.